Okay, folks, it's Nathan from KBL Texas Homestead. Welcome back. We're going to shoot a little video today. Uh, I'm going to start doing some stuff on my chicken coop. It's a project that I had already started. Didn't do a whole lot of filming. Got a few pictures, uh, and I will post those onto this video so you can see them. A uh, the little bit of progress that we've had. But since the last picture I've taken, I've had uh, closed in the chicken coop itself or the, the hen house. Where the chickens are going to sleep and today i'm going to attempt to put the netting on the uh, run of the chicken coop uh, some of the other videos you've seen i've had some issues with my coyotes out here the coyotes have been getting to the chickens the first it was the coyotes then it was some chicken hawks uh, I noticed chicken hawk got to a couple of them one day just let them around they sleep in the hen house at night we open it up during the day and they run around all day uh, unfortunately during the day when we're out and about doing our errands uh, they were gotten to by either the coyotes or the chicken uh, hawks so today I'm attempting to get some of this run fenced in and try to get this chicken coop uh, closer to being finished uh, just real quick I'll go over some of the items tape measure measuring out the distance uh, that I'm going to need, the lengths I'm going to need for this chicken wire. I've got this uh, staple gun and I'm going to be using some um, T14 uh, staples, they're in, uh, half inch staples. I'll be using that uh, just to secure it up and try to make it easier to work with. Um, then once I get it secured, I'll be following it in with some three quarter inch uh, poultry net staples galvanized they say oh, I pick these up at Home Depot uh, and I will reinforce it with these bigger staples to hold it in. Uh, I'm also going to just be using a handsaw today. Uh, it's just a cheap old handsaw I picked up from the uh, hardware store to cut what wood I need to cut to fill in some gaps and make the netting go on straighter. Uh, I'll also be using a square. This will be for used as well for straightening out the lumber, making straight cuts. Uh, I just got a pair of tin snips that I'm going to be using to cut the chicken wire. And I've got a hammer to nail these staples in. Also, this here is the poultry netting uh, that I picked up. It's got a one inch hole and it's just your, your basic chicken wire. Uh, this one here is four foot long. I'm sorry, four foot high. 50 foot long. I've got three rolls, so hopefully it's enough to do what I need to. I'll give you a look from a little further back <clears throat> of the chicken coop and what it looks like. Uh, again, I'm just using old lumber that I found on the property. Uh, I built all these trusses for the roof. I've got a big gap right here. I've got to put two more, maybe three more trusses up here. Uh, I'm gonna get those built, put them up, and then I'll get my roof put together once I get my material. And these here, all I did was use two by fours. Uh, I put two two by fours on the corners to stiffen it up, uh, and they just come down and they tie to a two by six underneath that grass somewhere. There's a two by six in the corner, <clears throat> but it just goes on and goes around. And there, and then I just got two by fours up on the sides. All these are just two by fours. You got two by four right here, two by four trusses, two by four upper rail. And then I've got a two by six because that is just what I had on the base all the way around. Uh, I had that available, so I used it up. Mm, and here's a look from it straight on.
folks i got the first part up and uh i'll give you a little bit show you what that looks like uh it's not the best but i think it'll do for now so as you can see here we've got some meshing up here coming down i'm gonna have to put some on this bottom section here it's just a little flabby i have to get that fixed up <clears throat> but the top is all pretty secure wires here i'm gonna put another support and that'll help us with getting a little more of this uh wire secure but i've got it pretty good it's in there it's not going nowhere nothing's gonna get through it of course that's my last famous words right and then it happens so we'll just play it by ear as it happens but i'm gonna get a little bit of support uh put down here hopefully y'all can see that i'll get that a little more secure but for the most part it looks like it's gonna do its job it's hold it up pretty good i gotta get one more section put down here on the bottom i've got about a two foot gap here i'll get that filled in and then we'll continue all right i'll give you a quick look at this hopefully it'll show up in the video but i've got this first section of wire mesh up i've got a bottom about two foot i gotta fill in I'm gonna get that filled in i'm probably gonna end up putting a runner board right here where this one ends i'll go from span to span just that way i can tighten it up a little bit um, it's not the best, but I think it'll do. It's a little wavy. It's got some rolls in it. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get a good angle of it. I don't know with the lighting if you'll be able to see it, but it does has it does have some rolls in it, some mesh bend, but I think I can work that out. I'm not dealing with a perfectly flat surface. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So in here, I was gonna trim all this out so i have this upper board here and i was going to put another board here to make that the same elevation um, and flatness on all these down comers but i decided not to i said well i'll just run with it uh, so i stapled my wire up and i just pulled my wire down the bottom and stapled it up but having to do that it's created a little bit of a roll in my wire so half and half I don't think it's bad though then I'll end up doing over here I've just stretched this wire out and stapled it to the side of the hen house here I'll roll it I'll fold it over and then I end up putting a piece of trim board right here and just nail that trim board to the chicken coop and I'll secure that I think I think that'll work out just fine
real quick, I'll kind of give you the rundown of our chicken coop. Uh, show you what we got. So this here is our hen house. Um, we've got a couple doors here and a clean out door. This is the front of the hen house. So as you can see right here, I have a little latch. We're able to pick up, open the doors. There's a couple of babies in here we've got separated right now from the uh, big ones because the big one's been <clears throat> getting at them. So we're kind of keeping them pinned up here. And of course, they help from getting eaten. They've been disappearing on us. Uh, also got this latch here that opens up. It'll open this bottom part. This will be for my clean out. Uh, got to do some adjustments you can see here the gap underneath this door my doors have been sagging since I put them together a little little hefty got a nice little gap on top so I will be adjusting that so that this bottom section can open up properly and the big doors can open up good <clears throat> we just got a little light coming into here for the chickens at night um, here is our egg box Let's see as you can see that uh, we got to finish doing some painting but here in the egg box we've got here i've got to put a little handle on it but this will flip open like this it opens up here and then I guess you can see this in the video but I've got this bottom section actually on a slope right here that tilts down three degrees uh, originally I built that you can see it kicks out a little bit here I built it that way so we wouldn't we were gonna put a mat down in there and just let the chickens lay their eggs and so the eggs would roll to the back of the box here and then we could pick them up and that way it keeps them a lot cleaner uh, when we the chickens can't get to them and break them or get them all filthy. As soon as they lay them, it rolls back. But we haven't picked a mat up yet, and we decided to go ahead and put some bedding in there for them so they could lay their eggs on a soft bedding, and that's the way it lays right now. We've got the old guard dog down here, Skeeter. Skeeter is one years old. Uh, she's our little farm dog. She's half blue healer, half border collie mix. Makes a great dog. She actually does a real good job protecting the chickens uh, and alerting us when there's trouble. Unfortunately, they have been here to be alerted and she was not able to completely fend off the predators. But she does a good job. <clears throat> Here's the front of the coop. We've got a nice little run for the chickens to come up as they go inside their door and then got two windows and we got a few boards up there now right now I've got a temporary roof here uh, and it's just plywood I threw plywood up there to get the hen house closed up get ready for the winter until I can get the material I want to put some metal up I'm gonna get some metal roofing uh, some black or charcoal color metal roofing and get that put on. I just gotta get that order and get it here so I can put it on. Uh, this here is our little string. You can see this line right here. This is how we open. It goes up to a little pulley up there. And I got it to raise this door. The string goes in from the inside and we can raise this door up and down to get the chickens in and out. And then, you know, it ain't nothing fancy, just a little string on a pulley. And I got a little nail right here. And this loop, once you pull it up, fixes to that nail and holds the door open for you. So, that's that. Like I said, it ain't nothing fancy. Um, here's some old lumber that was actually left on the property uh, by the previous owners. Um, 
We just like the way the old lumber looks. So I've been trying to incorporate it into this chicken coop as much as possible. Um, here's the opposite side of the chicken coop, which I have not made the door and lifting latch for the egg box on this side, but this is an egg box here. I'll have to get that finished up. Again, there's just the temporary plywood up on top of the roof. Uh, as you can see, we've painted some of it already, but all this wood is just old wood um, that I found in the back of the property. Uh, structurally, it was pretty sound. The outside looks rough, but once you cut it, it actually doesn't look bad at all. You can see the end of that board there. And there's that wood. And I just, you know, we decided that we like the way that look. We'll incorporate it with the old farm look and go from there. So we're turning this trash into treasure. There's a couple of the big birds just free ranging, doing their thing with their chicken. With their rooster, we call him Ruru. Hey, Ruru. He knows his name. Look, I'm looking at me. Hey, Ruru. What you doing, Ruru? All right, folks. Well, let's get to it. Oh, real quick. I'll touch on these uh, windows. So here, I just got an inset. Um, I've actually got a wire mesh on the inside. It's just screen material. It's not even a mesh. It's just a screen material. And then on the outside, I use this uh, wire here. I don't know how thick it is, uh, but this actually, this wire I found on the property as well. It's got a coating on it. Um, the gentleman had cages uh, that he put stuff in that were, you could put these panels together and just make boxes. To, and I don't know what he used them for, but there's plenty of it here. And I said, you know what? That would make a good predator screen. Uh, for my windows. It's a nice heavy gauge, so I just put some staples in it and got it held together and holds pretty good. I'm actually going to take that and put it on this window as well. I found this piece first, and so I went ahead and put it on. It's the same type of wire, but this one didn't have no coating on it. It's just rusted old metal, but I knew it would do the trick for now, so I went ahead and put that on, but eventually I've got more of the coated stuff, so I'm going to swap it over and put a coated piece right here. Well, folks, there's the chicken coop behind me right back here. Uh, like it's been since day one, starting with this chicken coop. Something's always come up and I've had to stop. Today, it's the rain. I knew it was gonna rain. Had some things to do this morning. I had to go take care of. Um, I got done with all my chores this morning, running around in town, going to pick up a barbecue pit, and uh, running to my mom's house. Went to Home Depot this morning to buy all the material. Um, you know, just all the running around. Finally got to time to start the chicken coop. Got it started, got a little bit of footage, and then boom, the rain comes down on me. So rain's probably gonna be for the rest of the night. I'm running out of daylight anyway, so we'll just have to come back and finish up the chicken coop another time.